Tens of thousands of people will be gathering this weekend for BAMS Fest 2023. Yeah, really hoping the weather is good. The festival celebrating Afrocentric identity and black artistry will feature art, music, and soul, hemp's BAMS. And joining us <laughs> is the founder of BAMS Fest and artistic director, Catherine Morris. Catherine, so nice to see you. Thank you. Good morning. So tell us, how did you come up with the idea for this festival? What, what's the origin of this? The origin is I planned my first talent show at 13, and I've loved talent show so mm -hmm. let's consider bands festival the adult version of that mm -hmm. but my whole life has been to support artists of color specifically and to make sure that my city is known for more than just a couple of bad things we need to start being known for other good things right mm -hmm. exactly so centering arts and culture and all of that is really the idea of why this festival is important to the city of Boston. And lifting up these artists, especially local artists, tell us how you do that with this festival. Well, we actually accept about 5,000 applications a year from across the world. Wow. But wow. our focus is to ensure that local artists are centered in everything that we do. So 90% of our, our lineup is local artists to start with. Um, but but you do have some global big names. <laughs> like I saw the list and I was like, they got who? They go, I can't believe some of the names on this list. Yes, we have Grandmaster Flash this exactly. year. Grandmaster yeah, Flash. That, kid, that would have grabbed Kate's attention instantly. I love it. Holy cow. We have the Terry Lynn Carrington, who is just an amazing jazz legend. We have Kevin Ross, who's an amazing R&B uh, singer, songwriter, producer, Zaya Bell as well, um, and the the uh, undisputed Marimona Youssef, a.k.a. Mumu Fresh. So five headliners this year. Wow. But centering 11 local artists, which wow. is amazing. How has the festival grown over the five years you've been doing this? Well, we started, we start, uh, so the festival takes place every June during Black Music Appreciation Month, and we're centered at Franklin Park, which is the epicenter of cultural events since the 1960s. Mm -hmm. But we started with 2,200 people, and last year we're just under 11,000. Wow. <laughs> wow! Congratulations! Thank you. And we literally have scaled from one day to three days, so now we're expecting about 18,000 people. And it's not just music. You're gonna have food trucks. Oh and You yes. have like a beer festival and a wine <laughs> I mean, garden. Tell, tell me a little bit of the whole scene. It's truly a multidisciplinary festival. It's music. It's dance. There's visual art. We're celebrating Black and Brown owned breweries, wine vendors. Uh, we have a resource fair. We have a vendor market featuring 50 black owned uh, small businesses. Um, there's just so much to offer. We have a, we have a dedicated kids zone this year awesome. with about eight different partners. So there's something for everyone, but we hope that uh, people feel proud to be here at Bands Festival this year. What is your favorite part? of the festival. <laughs> Hiding. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> my, my favorite part is actually there's maybe two moments during the day I get on stage and it's when I see the sea of people mm. and yeah. all walks of life, all multi-generational, all different stories that are being shared and just the the camaraderie, the pride, the the lovingness that happens between community, which we all vie to see mm -hmm. uh, and hope for. So to see that on stage and looking out, that's my favorite part besides it's just over. So. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work. So tell us the details. It's like today, 4, four o'clock it yes. starts? Yes. Today we have our evening concert at Franklin Park, placed at Field. They'll go from 4 to 9. We have amazing four acts today. Uh, we'll have our beer and wine gardens um, and our food trucks. And then Saturday is the whole shaboodle, I'm telling you, from <laughs> from noon to nine nonstop, two stages back and forth again about eight different activations happening so awesome. please come through can people just show up or they have to so they can show up we encourage people to register it's very important we want to be able to show the city that folks do want to participate and be present and visible um, but come and enjoy uh, definitely get there early to say the least <laughs> all right awesome Catherine thanks so much for coming Thank in you. Uh, BAMS Fest is at Franklin Park and place at field it runs through tomorrow of course lots of more information for you on our website wbz.com good Good luck, boss. Thank you. <laughs> it's going to be great.